Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. On today's video, I am doing my everyday makeup look. The look that you see right here. No. Thank everybody who has subscribed to my channel. Appreciate it. I appreciate you watching my videos. I appreciate you liking them. And lastly, of course, I appreciate the subscribing. Anybody who's new, let me introduce myself. My name is Nia. I do wig videos. I do makeup videos. I do vlogs once in a blue. I do all types of videos on my channel. Life together. Hold on this is my everyday makeup like literally this takes me 15 minutes of course in this video it's taking a little longer but yeah for the most part this is a 15 minute everyday look I tell but I don't want to hold you long again if you like my video like comment subscribe and until next time please be safe all right, all right. so <laughs> I'm not at home filming this video and I thought I had everything I needed but of course I forgot the most important thing, which was my spoolie. But I'm not gonna let that deter me from making a video because I've been wanting to make this video for the longest. So I'm gonna make it do what it do. Cause sometimes you be out, you be at your man house or whatever, and you forget your spoolie or you forget something. And one way or another, you gotta make it work. So at this point, I am using my concealer brush and I'm trying to like you see what I'm doing I'm brushing my brows up it's all right we are going to make it work and I have my brow pencil do not judge me I do I did thank God I did bring it back up just in case but I believe in using it until you can't use it no more so we're going to use this and I wanted this to be um like a complete video like most makeup videos I am going to come to you already with my brows done but I wanted like I said it to be complete so <sighs> look y'all pitiful and I do want to apologize in advance. You're probably going to hear them working in the background that I couldn't avoid. I cut out as much as I could, but if you do hear it, I do apologize. <laughs> I thought a bitch would know if Spoolie said something. <laughs> what brows still look good all right so i got my brows filled in we're just gonna jump right i'm gonna um clean them up a little bit but for somebody who doesn't have a spoolie ugh, i think they look pretty good so to clean up my brows i am using what is this not that. Um, to clean up under my brows, I'm using the Sharp, the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. And in the shade Deep, see that? This is what I'm going to use to clean up under my brows. And y'all, for a person, we're just going to put three dots. So I'm just going to take my mirror. and blend it down. This. And I'm actually going to take that brush that I've been using, um, which is basically, whoop, I dropped it, an e.l.f. blending brush, and I'm just gonna blend that concealer out some. I don't want to voice over this video. I really don't. Some parts I may have to because I'm not in this space by myself, but that is definitely not um, my intent. So now that I got one side done, I'm just going to put three dabs on the other side. Now, 
to do the top of my brows, I use the black opal um, foundation stick and the color is beautiful bronze. This beautiful bronze, this, oh, I, I didn't even notice y'all. This beautiful bronze color is the same color of LA Girl Pro, Con LA Pro Conceal, that beautiful bronze color. I love it, it matches me pretty much perfectly but because I have this stick and I don't use it I've just been using it for my brows and I've been using it for my brows for quite some time I use it and I'm just going to clean up the top of my brows with it This little hair wants to make an appearance today. And if y'all don't know, this is that same, that same Love Me Glueless wig that I had, that I reviewed and unboxed in a previous video. This is that same wig, like. To this day, and I have to say, I have been wearing makeup faithfully for quite some time. Brows is still my biggest, like, issue. The front. NYX Professional Makeup Tinted Brow Mascara. That's what it looks like. And I have it in the color Espresso, and this is what I've been using to set my brows. And believe it or not, like, I don't have any complaints with this product. Like, I really like it. So, especially since I don't have a spoolie. I'm just going to make sure I set these in place. I can't believe I forgot my spoolie. But I just was excited to know that I was going to be able to film. And I have everything else that I need. I just somehow forgot the spoolie. So the next thing I do in my everyday makeup routine is I go ahead and I prime my face. There are a lot of great primers out there. I'm still using the um, e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. This works for me, so why change it? I did though, y'all. I did order the um, Milk Primer. I'm always late, like I'm late for every, I'm late to everything but I did order the milk primer and I'm waiting for it to come in. I order, um, I ordered it from Sephora and I can't speak for it. You know, I'm only speaking for me, of course, but I'm an elf order, an Ulta orderer. Like I order from Ulta for the most part all the time. I really don't do Sephora because to me, Sephora is pricey, and I'm a girl who needs her makeup not to be an arm and a leg. Like, I need to be able to still eat after ordering products, so. Now the next product that I'm gonna use, y'all, I didn't do a review on this foundation, and I should have, but I have been using it, and I have to say this is the best matte foundation that I have used in a really 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 long time and I'm sure y'all have seen reviews on it everywhere but I have been using the NARS soft matte foundation y'all this foundation has changed my life I'm in the shade New Caledonia Deep 2 this foundation is the best soft matte foundation I have ever 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 used now if you've been watching the few makeup tutorials that I have on my channel, you'll see that um, I use the L'Oreal Infallible a lot. Like to me, prior to this, that was the best foundation ever created. Like, and I still use it because I don't want to think, you know, I'm cheating on it and I totally forgot about it. But this foundation, this foundation, it knocks all foundations at this point out of the water. And I have my um, soft beauty blender here and I'm just going to blend this in. Yeah, if y'all don't have this, go get it. Like, I'm definitely not into the, the high-end makeup products. Like, like I said, your girl got bills. Like, 
I don't see spending a lot of money when I could get something for less expensive that basically does the same thing. I do drag this down my neck some, but this foundation, this foundation is worth every penny, every penny. And I am basically just, you see, bouncing that into my skin with a damp beauty blender. Do y'all see that? Do y'all see that coverage? Like, first, first and foremost, if you don't know, I don't like full coverage um, foundations. This is definitely buildable into full coverage. This doesn't say that it is full coverage, but you know, you can build it up to that if that's what you, what you need. But yeah, for me, for the little bit of coverage that I do like on my skin, I think it does a great job. Like, and even though it's a matte foundation, your skin doesn't feel tight and unable to move like some foundations and drying. Like, yeah, this is the move. Next, I'm gonna do concealer. I'm gonna use that same color, that deep, to highlight under my eyes, cause this is my everyday. So let's just put that on. And the reason why I got these in the travel size um, is because I wanted to make sure I like them. Now, normally I do use my um, NARS, the soft matte creamy concealer that they kind of paired, NARS kind of paired with it, but I've been liking this tart. I'm gonna do down the bridge of my nose like so right here my cupid's bow and under my chin under my lip and a little trick that i have learned is to not touch this let it set now there is another color that i am going to go right on top i cannot read that color that color will also be linked down below and i'm just going to go in right here with it that is so, this color, these colors are like perfect for me. I'm not even gonna lie. I'm gonna actually start down here, blending it out. And again, I'm just pouncing. You see how it gives you a little bit of lightness, but it's not too much. That's what I'm going for. Like I wanna look like I put the effort in, but I don't wanna look like I'm going to a glamorous affair because this really is my go to work, run errands, be out the house quick, but look put together, makeup. Let me tell y'all this next product I was not going to buy because I was very, very happy with the product I was using. But after looking at so many videos, like I had to get it. I went out, I purchased the Laura Mercier translucent um, loose setting powder and I did get the shade Honey. And that's what I'm going to use to set all the areas I conceal today. So I'm gonna put a little bit. We ain't gonna talk about the mess I just made. <laughs> I'm just gonna take a little bit, dab it on the back of my hand, and I'm going to set all the areas that I just highlighted. But while doing here under my eyes, I am pressing that in, cause I'm not really a baker. Do y'all see that? Do y'all see that? Like the way that just it just melts. It melts into your skin every time. Like I'm telling y'all, just push it in. Do a thin layer at first, even if you're a baker. Just do a thin layer at first. Press it into your skin, girl. Okay. Now 
I'm going to set the other places. The other places, you know, I don't press in like I do under my eye, but the finish of it, when I press it under my eyes is like, y'all, how could I not? Like, wow, I have never ever used a setting powder that has given me the finish that this has. Like, I am forever, forever using this. I'm contradicting myself a little bit, but there's a reason. Now I take a little bit more with my sponge and I set it under there like so. And I'm doing this, let me borrow some from over here. Not because I'm baking, because I don't bake, but because I wanted to kind of catch any fallout from my eyeshadow which it really shouldn't be any but just in case my um morphe 350 palette so i try to be as quick as possible when it comes to my eyes so what i do is i go into this shade okay this shade i'm going into this shade right here and this shade is called Burnt Spice. And what I do is I use Burnt Spice kind of as my transition shade. So I grab me a brush, take this real fluffy brush, and I grab some products. Tap off the excess. And like I said, this is my transition color. So I start here and I just blend it. I blend it into my crease. I love this shade. To me, this screams fall. I'm using another Morphe brush. No, this brush is a Do Rhyme brush, but again, it has no number on it. It's like a shader brush, I guess. I don't know what you call it, but that's what it looks like. And I go into the shade um, Pop. It's right next to Burnt Spice. Right there. And I just put that on my lid. Like I said, I don't do a whole lot. This is kind of like the everyday makeup look that I did um, using my um, minted. Isn't that color pretty, y'all? Using my minted um, bronzer. It's kind of like that, but I think that these Morphe colors definitely give me more payoff. Definitely. Y'all see that? I love it. At this point, I'm gonna brush this off. Cause I don't want to be looking crazy. And now I just take, that's it. I take that same blending brush and I go back into that spice color and I just blend it out. A couple more steps and we are done. Next, I am still using my um, minted deep shade brightening, deep shade bronzer highlighter duo. I'm still using that to bronze up my face. I'm not doing um, contour because I don't contour on a daily basis but you do need something like to bring some liveliness back to your face so this is what I use so I'm using a contour brush and I'm just patting that can you see that 
Like I like the warmth that it adds back into your skin. And I just go around the face. So, and I repeat on this other side. Love it, y'all. I love that. Ooh. I bronzed up my face. A little trick that I have learned is to take a um, another translucent powder, your shade, just to carve out your cheekbones. I don't know if y'all have noticed, but your girl have has gained a little bit of weight. It's happy weight, but I have gained a little bit, bit of weight. So I'm using a black opal deluxe finishing powder, and I'm just gonna put that under my contour, under my bronzer to like, carve out my cheekbones a little bit, make me look a little thinner. We're just going to go right here and bring it straight to the corner of your mouth like so. Oh, ooh, I went too, a little too high on this side, but I don't let it sit. I go ahead and brush that right off. Yeah, I hate this side, y'all. See the mistake? So what I'm gonna do is just grab my bronzer and definitely blend this side out more. Bronze this side up a little more. But it still gives me that little bit of chiseled look that I need, that I feel like I need being a little chubby in the face. And I don't like the line being so pronounced, so I blend it until I feel comfortable with it. Like I want it to be there, but I don't want it to be like a stark contrast on my face. Like you can tell your girl tried to fix it. So let's just grab some bronzer and go right here. And here. I need to um, just bronze. I'm gonna use a bronzer for my. Just gonna use a bronzer for my nose. I'm gonna take a little brush, another Morphe brush with no number on it to bronze my nose. And that's just to give it some shape. Like I'm not trying to um, make my nose smaller. I kind of think I have a nice nose. Next is eyeliner. Is I take my Urban Decay 24/7 Glide On Eye Pencil. This is it, and I do my waterline. love this gel pencil like this is a good product and what I do do is I go on top a little bit thank you I take a slim pencil like this and I grab my Morphe palette and I take that color burnt spice and I just bring it down below Best mascara in the world right now to me is the Lily Lashes um, triple X mascara this is what it looks like I love this mascara. This is definitely an everyday look, so I'm not um, doing falsies because I don't wear falsies on the everyday. I'm going to put this on my top and my lower lash line, and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back, and I have 
applied my mascara so we are almost finished my next step is your finishing um spray of course i'm using the urban decay all-nighter if you don't know y'all even if you are a mask if you do this right your makeup will last you are still going to get some transfer in your mask just not as much so i'm going to spray my face And what I do is I press it into my skin. I don't just sit and wait for it to set in there. I press it in. To set my face, I am still using my Ruby, Ruby Kisses Mineral Powder. Yes, that is still what I'm using for my face. So, I know I just did setting powder, but to me, this has worked a million times better at keeping my makeup on my face. So this is pretty much how I'm doing it. And I'm just setting my whole face. Do some highlight, and I'm still using my Maybelline Master Chrome highlighter and the shade 200 molten topaz y'all i know y'all have seen the reviews and i'm definitely using a morphe m150 brush for that it has a number on it I do my cupid's bow but before i do my cupid's bow i wipe my lips off my monroe piercing and my mole don't want any makeup on there and then i do my cupid's bow need a little more One final spray. Now that's to set everything. Like, I don't press it in, I just let it settle into my skin. And last but not least is lips. And for my lips, this is a nice subtle eye look. For my lips, I use my NYX Butter Gloss. And the shade I use is, um, Cranberry pie. I have been loving this color. What am I doing? I ain't line my lips. To line my lips, I use matte chestnut. Has always been a favorite, will always be a favorite. And then I go in with the cranberry pie. Okay, y'all, that is pretty much it. We are pretty much done. We are done with this look. I know I've had some glitches in this video. I appreciate you watching. Um, Again, everything I use will be linked in the description bar below. If you have any comments, make them below. As you can see, I do respond to comments. Please like and subscribe to this channel. I hope to see you next time. Stay safe. Bye. Yeah. All right. <laughs>